We have several new devices here. One is a Graph Pro board, which makes it very easy to prepare a graft. We have multiple clamps, which could hold the buttons in the graft as well. We have our quad tendon graft, all soft tissue graft right there. Here we have the fiber tag tightrope RT. You can see the button and then the fiber tag as well. And it's all combined in one. We have a nice stout needle which could pierce the, the graft very easily. Over on this side, we have the fiber tag ABS, and this is all attached together, again, making it very easy to, uh, to use and eliminating steps. Here we have the graft clamp. This is specially designed to hold the graft and also the fiber tag system. These slots are used to hold the card and the fiber tag while we're applying it to the graft. This is a notch which will help hold the fiber tag. So again, making this very easy. So it comes in a nice uh, package. We can easily unwrap it and it's self-contained. So we can slide it into the clamp and then we'll take the sharp tip of it and you can see the length is perfect and it can pierce the end of the fiber tag that's hooked on to the uh, tightrope loop. This will hit in that notch so it doesn't move and it's locked in place. We then place this on the graft about two to three millimeters from the end and it pierces and holds it very well. The fiber tag portion of the implant is between 18 and 20 millimeters in length. Notice that we pull, when we pull these sutures, we pull them together, and that is so we don't split the graft. Then we loop around, we're holding tension. Obviously, this could be easier if you have someone else to help. It could be easily done by yourself. And then we go about almost halfway up the graft, pierce the fiber tag, and this uh, causes a rip lock type system. And watch here, we'll pull with two hands on this, and that'll tighten it down. So we pull hard, it tightens it down. Then we take the loop, go around. We then put the needle through at the junction of the fiber tag and the tightrope. Again, we're pulling these um, strings together to tubularize the graft. You can see it's very nicely tubularized there. We then flip the paper over, put the needle through the hole, pull it through, and then this reinforces that junction between fiber tag and tightrope. We then pierce the, the location between the previously thrown stitches and tighten it. When we throw the next stitch here, you can see it tubularizes it, we pull hard, we then cut one limb of the suture so the needle remains on one part of the suture. You'll see where that's important right here. We then make a simple tie, tighten it down, throw another loop to lock it. Then we cut the end without the needle and we take the needle and bury the knot. This is important so it does not get um, caught on the aperture of the tunnel when you're placing the graft. We then go to the other side, cut it. And the nice thing about this is we can take the very um, proximal end of the graft and trim it. You don't want to get your, cut, your graft stuck at the aperture of the tunnel when you're pulling it in. You don't want that binding in the tunnel. So this will allow us to get the whole graft well seated in the tunnel. And this process is not only stronger than any construct we previously described, but it's a much faster technique. We then place it in the button holder. This eliminates the need to have another set of hands. This is the fiber tag ABS tightrope. We use this on the tibial side. It comes without the button, which we add later for tibial fixation. Again, it works exactly the same way. We lock the card in, we pierce the fiber tag, and we're ready to place it on the end of the uh, quad graft. The fiber tag portion of the implant 
is between 18 and 20 millimeters in length. We go up about halfway, place a second throw, and notice again how we're pulling it. This is key. We come through. We go around. And again, if wanted, you could stop right here and tie it off. We want to show you the technique during this video, so we're throwing multiple, multiple sutures. Then again, we bury the knot, and you're done. You have a completed graft. Quad grafts tend to be rectangular in shape. Then we use the graft compression tubes to take the rectangular quad graft and make it circumferential. So we tubularize it here. This makes it very easy to pass into the tunnels we created with round drills. You can see we can size the graft as well. We can see both distance and the circumferential measurement. Now this graph is ready to place.